Polls opened this morning at the French Embassy in Kampala for the first round of the presidential elections. French citizens in about 160 embassies and consulates cast their votes to pick their next president. The election has been described as historic because of several hot button issues like the economy, terrorism, immigration and France's future in the European Union. The French ambassador to Uganda, Stephanie Rival, says they expect 192 voters to exercise their civic duty. We are expecting a very high turnout. Uh, we're expecting 90% of them to come or vote through a proxy. So we, we hope, because it's a presidential election, that people are going to come to uh, exercise their right to vote as French citizens. The polls closed at 7 in the evening. As is the practice, the embassy will forward the results to Paris to update the citizens of the leading candidates. Uh, as I said, I'm 26 years old and I want the young people to be part of the society, to be part of the political system and to the decision-making process. And that's why I'm voted for the socialist candidate who will give us more power. Selected pictorial images out of the 11 candidates have been placed over here. And for most of the French citizens in Uganda, they will base their decisions on jobs, the economy, immigration and security. I would say someone who really wants to to make French people more happy in their everyday life, who really believe it and not in his or her career, sticking to her or his program. Ambassador Rival says French citizens should vote because many other countries are yearning for such an opportunity. They need to come and do the journey to the polling station to exercise this right because this right has a lot of value. People die to acquire it and out of respect for them, we need to exercise this right. The election has 11 candidates running for the presidency. Opinion polls show that five of them are the favorites to head to the second round. They are Emmanuel Macron, the youngest of them all at 39 years, Marine Le Pen, a far-right candidate who promises to exit the EU, François Fillon, a former prime minister, and the far-left candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who gained popularity with his fiery speeches. Andrew Adinitwe, NTV, Kampala.